Compare which is greater, three to the power of pi or pi to the power of three. Oh my God, not easy. Pi is irrational. However, three is an integer. Now what we can do is to take the natural log on the both sides. Because we have the formula, the natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. So that means this is actually pi times the natural log of 3, and this 3 times the natural log of pi. Now look at their forms. Look at the left hand side and the right hand side. Pi times the natural log of 3 3 times the natural log of pi. If we divide both sides by 3 pi, here we end up with the natural log of 3 over 3. And on the right hand side, we can end up with the natural log of pi over pi. Now you can see the both sides have the same form. Natural log of something over something. So now we can actually construct a function. We can construct f of x equals the natural log of x over x, where x has to be positive. We know that 3 is less than pi. We actually want to compare f of 3 with f of pi. So now we don't know if f of 3 is also less than f of pi. We have to find out this point. So now we have to find out the comparison between f of 3 and f of pi. So now what can we do? The only way is to differentiate this function. Now, f prime of x equals numerator over denominator. So the new numerator will be the derivative of our numerator times the denominator. So it is 1 over x times x is 1. Then minus numerator times the derivative of our denominator. So it is the natural log of x times 1 it is still the natural log of x. And our new denominator will be our denominator squared. And now we can see, since the denominator is x squared and x is always positive, so our denominator is always positive. Now, if we want to compare f of 3 with f of pi, we have to know if this function is decreasing, increasing, or constant. And if the derivative is positive, negative, or is equal to zero. Because the denominator is greater than zero. So we have to have a look at the numerator. 1 minus the natural log of x. Of course, it can be positive. It can also be negative as well as zero. So here we have three cases. If the numerator is positive, then f prime of x is positive. So that means, in this case, our function is increasing. Now, solve for x. In this case, the natural log of x is smaller than 1. Here we have x is smaller than e, where e is approximately equal to 2.5. 71828 blah 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 it's irrational if this one equals 0 then our derivative is also equal to 0 then our original function will have its extreme value we don't know if it's the maximum value or the minimum value 
at this point is x equals e. In our third case, if our numerator is smaller than 0, then our derivative less than 0, our original function will be decreasing. And here we can get x is greater than e. So that means if x is less than e, then the function is increasing. x equals e, the function has its maximum value. x greater than e, the function is decreasing. Maybe we can construct its graph just like this. Here we have x equals e. Its derivative is 0 and is the local maximum value even the maximum value of the whole function. Since 3 and pi are both greater than e, so these two points are actually here. We know that if x is greater than e, this function will be decreasing. So here, the function is decreasing. That means if we have x1 smaller than x2, then f of x1 will be greater than f of x2. The greater x, the smaller f of x. So that means 3 smaller than pi, but they're both greater than e. So they're in the decreasing interval of our this function. That means f of 3 will be greater than f of pi. So our left hand side is greater than or right hand side. So here we have 3 times the natural log of pi is less than this one. And this is greater than this. At last, we have pi cubed is less than 3 to the power of pi. To get it, to get the method, to get the wonderful method, to get the splitted method, give me a thumbs up. Give this video a like, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!